Anyway, lost. Let's see if this works with the lost. Uh, let's just try to spawn next to one. Please, just give me one. No, help me. Or I'll just keep going. Lost is playable now. Not like it's a big deal. I would imagine the Holy Mantle still rerolls with D4. Yeah, it was just a bad choice. Like, I didn't think it wasn't intentional, it's just bad. because they think it's risk-reward or something when really it's all risk, no reward. I don't know, they think it doesn't invalidate the fact that the D4 exists when it does. No, there isn't one. Like, there's no reason to reroll the Holy Mantle. If your run is that bad, you're gonna die anyway. Sekmi, thank you for the 14 month sub. Thanks so much for sticking around, I appreciate that a lot. So, I'm fully expecting that, uh, the Lost will not be able to do the Sacrifice Room thing. But Keeper will. Keeper almost definitely will. Wow, sick. Yeah, D4 is cool and Holy Mantle isn't. D4 is a great addition, and Holy Mantle is a bad addition in my opinion. But, when they give you the Holy Mantle, you're not going to reroll it. Like, why would you? I think that you might still take damage if you have Isaac's Heart. I don't remember. Uh, Isaac's Heart is not really worth taking. No, I haven't tested if you keep the ability to get Angel Rooms after uh, the floor where you uh, get you feel blessed. But I will test that, like, after I test lost stuff. Okay. 
<laughs> Does Isaac's heart make Onin streak not damage you? Everyone's gonna say Bumbo. Neither one is that good. Where are the sacrifice rooms, game? The reason I'm not just resetting is I think it'd be kind of funny if I ended up with a run strong enough that uh, I actually just like beat Mega Satan with the lost off of this strat if it works. Because I think that'd be funny. I'm confident that you feel blessed forces an angel room for that floor. I'm rather confident of that one. Whether or not it um, actually sets a possible precedent for angel rooms, I don't know on that one. Yes, sacrifice rooms are good. Shot speed isn't bad in Rebirth, and Cat of Nine Tails is now 1.0 damage up. Basically, it's just good now. Before, it was only 0.23 shot speed up. No damage up. No advantage, because shot speed was horrible in the original. So, it's just a good item now. That's really all there is to it. Code, thank you for the 11 month sub. Thank you so much for the continued support. I really appreciate that. Keep the hype coming, chat. That, that is not useful. I mean, not that this is useful either, but that's not the point. What changed about shot speed? It's not horrible now. That's really all there is to it. The knockback isn't nearly as damaging to you. The aiming isn't as bad. Pretty much all of the things that were bad about it are lessened. And there are actually shot speed downs beyond Sacred Heart. So it's not like you're stuck with high shot speed if you get it. Yeah, Lost is better than Blue Baby. Not easier, but better. Ew.
a little ridiculous that I haven't seen a sacrifice room yet. It's not like they don't spawn as the lost. Unless they don't now. Uh, which would be interesting. What do you mean, how did I know there was a trinket? I saw it dropped. Oh yeah! This run is the best for the lost. I definitely don't have any items that might kill me. Okay, that's fine. <sighs> that's actually really good. PhD doesn't stay through D4 use or anything. I, I don't know why that would be. I, I don't get your question. Oh wait, that's the sacrifice room. Yeah, I kind of didn't think so. It's not going to do anything. So you've still got to get lost Mega Satan normally. But I'll play out this run because Tech X is actually a winnable run. So we're doing a lost run for now. Yeah, I guess with Dead Cat it would probably... The problem with that though is that you can't re like you can't actually fight the statues. You could use it for the teleport with Dead Cat, I'd imagine, but like you if you need to fight the statues, it's not going to work because you can't stay in the room once you die. Without Holy Mantle active, you die. Yeah, I mean Tekio. No, there's no tech transformation. I'll try to do this run really quickly. I just figure I may as well. You know, I start Tech X. Tech X is how I beat Hush with the Lost. Yeah, another character with a missing poster would do it just fine. That means you have to find the missing poster to be fair, which kind of sucks, but still. Better than doing a full run of the Lost to Mega Satan, I guess. I don't really, like, I'm not worried about the transformations as far as them being good or bad or liking them, you know, they're fine. Yeah, it was probably worth it to check the chests in the um, challenge room. I thought of going back for it, but this isn't like a serious lost run. This is just get this run done and then get back to testing.
I already tested the sacrifice rooms. You don't get any payout with them. With the lost. Because the holy mantle will cancel it. You'll die if you don't use holy mantle. Yeah, Spoonbender bends the uh, outer ring of Tech X so that it can um, keep hitting enemies. Only the outer ring in Tech X hits stuff. Oh, I'm still going to test sack rooms. Like, sacrifice rooms, I'm, I haven't solved all of their mysteries yet. Sacrifice rooms are, like, really good now, not just worth it. It's pretty much going to just be a standard part of a run to um, go through sacrifice rooms uh, once just to get the guaranteed uh, Mega Satan key. Now there's a new patch. They patched sacrifice rooms last night slash this morning to make them really good. In the process, they made Angel Rooms pretty much completely worthless, but, like, not that they weren't already. But I don't really care. Like, that's fine. A reason to never do an Angel Room run again is not, like, a bad thing in my opinion. Cool. fight that room. Sacrifice rooms give you Mega Satan Key, basically. And teleport you to Dark Room if you want. So you could get the key, teleport to Dark Room, have Mega Satan done 10 minutes if your run's really strong. Except with the Lost. You can even do it with the Keeper, though. I would imagine, because freaking... The Swallowed Penny. Well, yeah, there's a way to control it. Don't play Sacrifice Rooms after you've gotten the key on the floor you got the key if you don't want to go to the Dark Room. Because the next payout is Dark Room. But it resets when you go to the next floor. So you can run through everything again. All right. Sharp plug holy mantle is annoying because sharp plug doesn't get to do anything through the holy mantle. So you just have to do it. Wait like the two and a half seconds you have invincibility, and then do it again for it to work. A multiplexo. Thank you for the sub. Thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate that. Welcome. Chat, more hype for Multiplexo.
Oh, I see how it is. I mean, I guess. This is how homing goes with Tech X. It's pretty cool. So they fixed the save quit thing. And that one. Alright, so they fixed both of them. I don't know if Tech X works with Holy Light. Does little Steve count for the tumor transformation? This is my next forgetfulness. If you save and quit in the angel room after killing the statue previously, the statue would respawn and you'd still be in the angel room so you could fight it again and it would be the other statue and you could get the full key in one angel room. Uh, but now you can't. Same thing with leaving and re-entering the room. Um, if this angel room were to stay open after you... Uh, Bought the statue, you could go back in and the statue would have respawned. Okay, little Steve counts, that's good. Well, I was testing if sacrifice rooms could be used as the lost, they can't. Uh, and I ended up with Tech X. So I figured that, I mean, Tech X is like how I beat the, um, how I beat Hush with the Lost. So I may as well give it a chance and just like finish the run because it's there and how often do I do Lost runs? All right. Oh boy. What was broken about Krampus? Uh, God dang it, I'm good at this. I think everything was working as intended for Krampus. Why would I clip in the black market? Black markets aren't very useful. The only reason to take them is to lock in devil rooms. And I don't really want to do that right now anyway. Champion Bell seems to work on bosses now, I don't want that. There's some total garbage that you can get from champion bosses, namely quad cage, small room. Yeah, for the lost, it's free shop items, but, like, most of the time it's stuff that I don't want. It's pretty rare to see, in, like, a shop item I care to get. Same thing with, like, six polycephalus. Yeah, if you buy something from the black market, it locks you into devil deals. Uh, screw it. Why not, right? Aw, how sweet of you.
Yeah, sure, why not? This is how I die, but, like, I don't mind. It'll be funny. As long as I get death out of the way soon, it won't matter. Yeah, when I do a casual last run, I go all out. Loss is playable now. Which is the best I would ever ask for, I guess. Oops. Well. There goes my life. I'm fine. Ugh. Afterbirth is really good, in my opinion. But so many people are like so upset about it, like it's garbage or something. They're like, oh, it's terrible, ruined Isaac. It was a terrible update. Didn't add anything worthwhile. I'm like, what are you people talking about? Are we playing the same game? Made everything so much more interesting and fun. I'll pass on that one. Random invincibility, too. It's gonna be good. Yeah, no, Afterbirth absolutely, like, brought Isaac to a much better place for me. Well, this was initially, I was just testing if uh, the Lost could use the sacrifice rooms now because sacrifice rooms are good and useful, but uh, then I got Tech X and I decided, all right, I'll just finish this run because, you know, Tech X is actually how I won it, like everything with the Lost. So why not? Say Ray, thank you for the five month resub. Thank you so much for sticking around. I appreciate the continued support. I really do. That's boring. The lovers. That's boring. We're fighting Hush legit. Why would I bother fighting Hush if I'm gonna Chaos card? No, no, you guys aren't getting it. Why would I use the Chaos card to fight Hush when I could just fight Hush the normal way? You're, you're missing the idea here. I 
I should have picked that up. Oh, I went backwards. Oh well, I don't really care. Guys, I don't care about dying. Hmm, that's too risky. Oh, look at that. What's that, easy game? It should be possible to one-shot Hush without uh, Chaos card. I haven't done it. But, uh. Yeah, it was a no-hit Hush. I should hope so. With his build. For strange reasons that I don't understand, Tech X, like, doesn't scale as much on Hush, it seems. So, uh, it's just, like, free. No, I didn't nerf Hush. Tech X is just really good for Hush. By the way, just for full completion here, I'm absolutely gonna freaking do um, the whole like darkroom thing before fighting Mega Satan. Just because this is a casual lost run means I have to do everything except the one thing I can't do, which is Cathedral Chest. Gotta just nearly clear the entire post-it in one run. Why not? Eh? Wow. I guess I'll keep this. It's a lot of extra damage that I don't already have. It's 
Sacrifice rooms basically let you get Mega Satan. Just like straight up. They give you angel fights, angel rooms, um, and a teleport to dark room once you've uh, fought both angels in that uh, sacrifice room, that floor. Gotta love it, right? Look at that. Great room. Yeah, this is a casual last run. Uh, if I don't do anything too dumb, this will clear uh, everything on the post except Cathedral and Darkroom and Greed Mode without any respawns. Though I have taken hits. Yeah, I've unlocked Mega Blast. I've got a thousand one percent. Yeah, Rip Manuel. strength. Alright, so casual last run that did everything but uh, Cathedral Chest and Greed, because you can't do Greed in the same as a regular run. 